What's going on guys? It's Milky Kitty and I'm back with another video. Uh today I'm going to be previewing um SS9 here on the test server. Um as you can see, it is a sailing season. Which means we will be playing the merge game. Um so right here you got your, your gift pack button. Here's your packs. Um just the usual stuff. Nothing different. It's got a striving phase. Um, here's the leaderboard. Again, you get every um, every five islands you clear. You get some extra rewards. That's what you get for the first ten teams that beat it. Just the uh, the usual stuff. Now, if you never played merging game, um. I'm sure there's things I'm going to miss that will make it not very clear on what you're supposed to do, but if you feel that way, uh, when it does come out for you, just click on this thing up here in the top right, this little scroll, and the end game thing is actually pretty clear on how it works. Uh, but basically, you just combine... Um, they call them buildings, like the trees and the rock. They call them buildings. You combine buildings of the same type to upgrade them, basically. And what this is showing you here is three of the same type gives you one upgraded building. And five of the same type gets you two. So do the math on that. Upgrading five is more efficient than upgrading three. Uh, that's pretty much... Um, all I'm really going to explain on that, um, there's obviously, like later on, there's more mechanics, like you see here at the fire and the stones, blah, 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 but I'm not on that point, so there's not really any point in explaining it. It'll just be too confusing to anyone that hasn't played before, so. Uh, but yeah, so as you can see, I got, I got five pieces here now. Um, okay, I don't have any others, but when you are able to do a five-piece upgrade... It's going to have this, uh, these two yellow arrows on the building, and that'll let you know, that, like, hey, don't do a three-piece, you have a five-piece. So, boom, five-piece, gives me two. Um, we got another one over here. Let's do that, boom, another one, boom. I was kind of hoping I had a three piece so I could show you, but basically, if you only have three available, okay, there we go. If you only have three available, it just has this little green arrow, and you don't really want to do that. Um, the only time you want to do that is um, actually let, let me let me back it up a little bit. So you need X amount of stars to go to the next level. I need 280 stars. Um, how do you get those stars? Well, when you combine stuff, there's a chance you'll get some stars. And on top of that, there's these quests here on the, the top left here. Um, usually there's one that's like um, combine X amount of buildings and it'll give you stars. Or it'll be get um, X amount of this specific building. So like it wants me to get two of these big cactuses and two of these apple trees. And those will give me 40 stars. Okay, let's say... Yeah, let's just use these rocks, alright? Let's say I need to get a really big rock, and they'll give me a bunch of stars. Well... If I get those stars, like let's say it gives me 40 stars, okay? And I, and I can go to the next map with within those 40 stars. I can just do the 3 times upgrade like that. To get my singular building that I need and move on. Otherwise, if I sit there and wait and use up more stamina, then you know I just wasted stamina and time for no reason. You know, um, that's that's pretty much it. Other than that, you will pretty much never do the the three to one uh, combining there. This hammer here on the bottom left, I will show you what that does in a second. Uh, basically, it just combines everything on the field if possible. Um, and if I remember correctly, it only does the the five upgrades. Like if you got five of the same type of building, the hammer will work. So uh, but yeah, let's just let's get into the gameplay here. So you click on the button to use your stamina, and basically you sail to these different types of islands. 
and as you can see, when you get to the island, um, a little, little bubble pops up with uh, an icon on it. The first one we had was a bag. That one gives you, um, what you call it? That one gives you items, um, the buildings, and the one that pops up with the boss is, of course, a boss. And then it pops up with the boss fighting screen right here. You click on the magnifying glass. You can look at your boss, the stats, and you know, click on the skills so you can see, you know, what they do, etc. Now, I'll be honest, at the very beginning. Uh, for everyone, you know, even if you're like level 90 and you're just starting, you're you're not going to have to pay attention to any of this. Um, but basically, uh, you can fight the same boss five times, okay? Once you beat him five times, it rotates to another boss. <clears throat> now, there's three different difficulties when you go to fight the boss. You got like your easy, uh, your normal, and your hard. Um, as you can see, you get more coins for the normal and hard version why is that because the boss gets some type of buffs so like this one i think he like uh ignores some of your armor this one he like does more damage you know stuff like that so if i click here oh also to mention when you click on uh when you do the hard or normal and you win it's gonna apply those buffs to the next boss so we're just going to do this here. It's going to apply these two buffs. Now we win. We get some extra coins. That's cool. All right. Let's sail through. Okay. We got the bag. It gives you coins. This other bag gives you coins. We're back to the boss. As you can see, those two, those two buffs are still on him. Okay. So you kind of want to pay attention to that later on. Um, but yeah, we're just going to keep going here. As you can see, the coins go up and up. Now, when you um, complete the boss, the coin amounts reset. Um, I'm just trying to speed through this here so I can show you that. We're just going to keep going here. Now, if you want to have... There's a little bit of RNG to it, but honestly, like, not really. Um, so what it just did there is, once you reach a certain amount of coins, I think it's like 2,500 here in the top left. It automatically kicks you out um, because if you're not paying attention, like, and you're and you want to min max your stamina usage, like, you theoretically could waste stamina by just like attacking the boss too much, you know, sailing too much. So that's why it does that. Um, yeah, see, we get a huge coin reward, and you get bonus coins for beating all five bosses. Now that card, you get to choose. Um, a building you want we're just gonna we're gonna go with the rocks here okay and then if you want all three you can buy the other ones for like the two starfish whatever it was but not worth really as you can see we're on a new boss here and the coins reset um so yeah we're just gonna okay yeah it's already gonna kick me out so yeah once you hit 2500 kicks you out now what do you do with your coins Every 500 coins, you can click on this big building here, and it shoots out a bunch of buildings. So we're going to click on it once here. Boom. It shoots out like five buildings. I'm just going to spam this here. Um, boom. Okay. And so now I got a bunch of buildings, and I really don't want to do all these individually. So what can I do? I've got some hammer charges. Boom. Do the hammer. I got some stars here. Let's just do it again. We'll just keep doing it until, uh, yeah, and see, as you can see, the hammer, it, it'll say right here, combine five to get two. It only does that, um, on this. So you can see here, I've got four, and so it can only do a three times combination. The hammer didn't do anything there. It's not going to do anything there, so it's not going to waste your stuff. Um... Yeah, I actually don't have enough things, so let's just go get a little bit more coins here. Let's see, 470. I think this will give me enough. I'm just going to cancel here. Oh, so the canceling. Um, if you want to cancel, um, you want to hit the cancel button before you get to, like, your last thing, because when you hit the cancel, it sails one more time. So, like, if you're trying to, like, min-max your stuff like that, then, you know, then
then you could uh, do that. Okay, there we go. There's our stars. And you see we got 280 stars. Boom, boom. Gives us the little bit of rewards. Boom. And boom, we're on the next thing. Um, so this is the third island, I believe. Third or fourth. Um, this, okay, this is actually kind of perfect. It's, it's introducing the new fire stuff. So... Well, not new, but new if you've never played it before. Um, so these um, kind of like campfires type buildings, when you combine them, they give you fire. And um, when you get to this max building here, it gives you fire like AFK, like just over time. And as you can see, a quest requires you to get a certain amount of fire. And there's your fire up top there. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, and then we've got our quick charge here. There's the AFK rewards, the usual stuff, the usual stuff. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, in a sense, you're just combining stuff and sailing, fighting bosses, and that, that's pretty much it. Oh, one thing, hold on, let me go back to the boss real quick. I forgot to show you, um... If you uh, need to change up your setup because <clears throat> you're dying and you're not killing the boss, you can go here, you know, your normal team configuration setup. And if you want to watch the battle to see what's going on, you can click on this piece of paper here. And, oh, I haven't fought a boss yet, but you can, uh, the boss battle will show up here whether you win or lose, and you can watch the replay. Uh, here, let's just, uh, let's fight him real quick so we'll get a replay available. And then get another boss here. Okay, there we go. Click this here. Boom. There's our um, report. And you we can click on the play button there. We'll skip the animation. And you got the three times thing. There. Now, I, I don't know if it has like the battle report like where you can see like your skills go off and stuff which kind of sucks um but you know it is what it is really doesn't really matter um oh there's one more thing about the bosses i forgot um the easy mode it guarantees you a win so if you're on a boss where there's nothing you can do Okay, you don't want to just sit here and do the hard mode because you're 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 losing out on coins. So, and it's wasting your stamina. See, so you, you do the easy one and it guarantees you the win. Um, now doing that, it doesn't increase your coins for the next boss battle, but you know it, it doesn't really matter because you need the coins. So, yeah. Um, but that's that's uh that's gonna be it for this SS9 video. Um, I hope for you new people you got um some understanding on you know how it works and yeah that's uh that's upcoming season. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Peace.